Hi guys. Um, just want to say a few words. Um, it's been quite a a stressful day. Um, I didn't have a great time at the hospital today. People might have heard that already about my eyes. And um, but I just want to talk a little bit about MMS and about the fact that I'm in court in two weeks' time. I have to go up to um, near Dublin. I don't want to give the location out. Regarding um, this person in Ireland that um, was found guilty in 2016 for manufacturing and selling MMS and offering it as a cure for autism. Now, at the time when he was found guilty, I, I really thought actually that he would be punished for his crimes. And um, the punishment was really, really small. It's four thousand euros, basically, for making and sorry, making and uh, offering bleach to cure autism, which involves um, forcing autistic children to drink this bleach and also forcing them to have um, burning bleach enemas. The side effects are shocking. Um, people have died from this product. It's not. Um, Everyone is advising people not to ingest it because it's toxic and it's not fit for human consumption. However, there's some crazy people out there that want to do this and, um, and some very bad people that peddle this poison to make money, okay? And this man is one of them. He's an elderly man, but I don't care because I don't think that should have any, um, you know, any impact on, on his uh, punishment. And um, But I want to talk a little bit about what's happened since he was charged and found guilty in 2016. He didn't pay his fine and he's appealed his case. So I went back to court last year in 2017 and um, he kicked up a fuss and it ended up that the whole thing was um, not dealt with on that day. You know, this is all at my own, ex you know, up and down, having to go through the stress of meeting this awful creature and... Um, and then I was told that time that I wouldn't be in court again until June this year. However, I got a call a few weeks ago saying I had to go on the 15th of February to court. And um, the timing is appalling. There's so much going on in my life right now. Um, it's really, really difficult for me. Last year, when we went up, um, I did make it clear to the authorities, to the HBRA, that this person who was found guilty is still advertising MMS, okay? So he's still advertising it on his website and on his Facebook page. And even as recently as a few days ago, he's still advertising Genesis 2, Church Cult, and this bleach. So he doesn't care. He's no remorse, doesn't care about what he's done, and still wants to give it to kids and to people that have uh, serious health issues. Um, so anyway, when you go on his website, there is... Um, go on the ARC Recycling website, okay? There's, go into the drop-down menu and there's links. And if you click on links, you're led to a page which has MMS and it's like a sunset MMS newsletter. And if you click on the picture, it leads you to MMS Wiki, which is the main MMS website. Everything you want to know about poisoning yourself and autistic children is all there, okay? And if you scroll down on that web page, you come to uh, a, a, a part where you can buy MMS. So you click on that and it goes to all the countries around the world where you can buy this poison. Um, you know, Czech Republic, Germany, France, England. I think there's two um, websites in England. There's none in Ireland, obviously, because, you know, we've banned it here in 2016. Um, but there's loads of countries. Loads and loads, okay? And uh, I, you know, I thought, I'm going to prove a point because I'm talking to a reporter right now about this situation, um, about the fact that even though I alerted the authorities to the fact that he is advertising this, nothing has been done, okay? But when I click on his MMS newsletter link that leads me to the MMS Wiki site and I scroll down and I find um, where to purchase this product, which is really easy, these countries appear. So I thought, mm, I'll choose one, okay? And I chose Germany because I've actually been talking to somebody who's in Germany about Kerry Rivera. Because Kerry Rivera, that's the woman that um, offers bleach as a cure for autism, has moved there. She's married a German doctor in recent um, years and um, is apparently living in Bremerhaven. And um, I'm planning to report this lunatic woman soon. Anyway, I 
rang this number that's on this website. I, I really didn't think anyone would answer, but they did. So a man picked up the phone speaking German and I asked did he speak English and he said, yes, he did. And we had a conversation for nearly 20 minutes, okay? I told him I lived in Ireland. I gave my name. And um, he offered me chlorine dioxide bleach and told me that um, it is uh, classed as a dangerous good. And I said, why? He said, it is like the detergent, you know, in the shops with the skull and crossbone on it. Dangerous good. He told me he couldn't um, ship it to Ireland because he can't put it on a plane or on a boat because it is a dangerous good. Okay, so there we go. A dangerous good, a chemical with a, you know, the skull and crossbones, dangerous. So how he gets it to countries is interesting. It goes via the Eurotunnel. So he, would, he told me that I would have to get a UK address or another country that then they would deliver it by, I don't know, whatever. Um, if they were coming here in person or something like that, they could hide it. I'm horrified listening to this man. And um, he also told me that he's giving it to his dogs. Hmm. That's nice, isn't it? He also said that, um, he said to me that he makes CDH, which is another um, form of this bleach himself. So he's making this in his home. Okay. Um, that's important that I say that because there are two different um, charges with manufacturing and selling, you know, and if you're manufacturing as well as selling, you're going to get in a lot more trouble. He told me that, um, so it's a dangerous good, and he told me um, that it is not uh, regulated. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, for, to take in the body. So that's why they have to call it water purification drops because you are not meant to put it in your body. And he said that on the phone to me. He admitted that. You are not meant to put MMS in your body. Get that, Helena? Hello? Hello? Not in the body? Yeah? And the other bleachers that we've been talking to lately? He said, so you have to say it's for water purification. So I said, I have an autistic child. What do I do if I buy this and I want to give it to my child? Don't tell anyone about it, he said. Don't go on the television and announce it. Don't tell anybody. So he's admitting that you're not meant to put it in your body. So you just say, oh, I'm just using it to clean my water, you know, or whatever, down the toilet. And um, if you're giving it to your child, don't tell anyone about it, okay? Because you're going to get in trouble. So he knows that it's wrong. But he doesn't stop him selling it to me. And um, he told me that it, um, you know, it's such great for viruses and all this thing. He knew who Kerry Rivera was. And um, I asked him about customers and clients, and he said, I said, had he any in Ireland? And he said he had one customer, which is comforting for me, really, to hear that. Um, but many in the UK. Sorry, Emma. So this is kind of interesting for me, because when I talk to authorities, they're saying, oh, we're watching ports, whatever, like that. This is coming through in the Eurotunnel, okay? This is, this is important, okay? So it's coming that way. And... Um, and this guy has a, a real nice selection of the bleach. He's got CDH, you know, different kind of packages. Very nice, you know. Um, he's making it, like I said, as well. And I suppose this is my point. Um, I'm nearly out of time here. Is that what is the point in me going back to court? What is the point in anyone going to court? If people are found guilty and then they are allowed to go on and still advertise bleach. So basically, my point has been proven. Okay? I went on this... Irish bleachers website that's been prosecuted and it led me to a place where I can buy bleach to give to my autistic child. He's still advertising it. It was so easy for me to do that. I have this call recorded and I will be sharing it later. Um, this is not going away. You know, no one is really tackling this properly. And I've had enough. I, I actually don't even think it's worth my while anymore, to be honest with you, because it's a joke. It's child abuse. And like this guy said, it's not for the human body. And I've got him saying that. These people are worse than drug dealers. They are child abusing scum. I will upload the call later. Thanks for watching, guys.